So this is the second one that we'll see today that's listed for 320,000. You'll be able to kind of make an assessment as to, you know, where you think the value is. Uh, this one is laid out a little different. Again, two bedroom, uh, two bath. Uh, this is going to be the master bedroom as soon as you walk in. So you can see a small window. The other one had the master bedroom on the exterior of the building. And uh, this uh, one is on the interior. So I don't, I don't know if that's you know good or bad, it just is. So uh, they have a, a lock on that second closet, but again, two closets. You can see they've upgraded in the bathroom, the uh, floor tile, uh, beautiful, you know, single hand bowl. They did a great job with that. However, this is basically the same shower as they had in the uh, other one, but uh, it's, you know, clean. So uh, it's one of those things that you'd say, well, there, there it is. You can see with the uh, carpet, you know, there's definitely some things that could use addressed a little bit as far as the age of the carpet. They said this building was actually completed in 2005, even though I think LIPA says that it was uh, 1999. This is the second in, uh, bathroom, guest bathroom. Uh, again, washer and dryer are not in the bathrooms this time. I'll show you in just a second where they're located at and the guest bedroom is straight ahead. So it does kind of make it nice in relationship to for a guest. And you can see they've done a good job at just uh, remodeling these and upgrading a little bit. Uh, nice big uh, window, uh, decent that way. And then uh, out here, so in the hallway is where they have the washer dryer. And a little bit of storage. I mean, it seems like it always goes a long way because when you're here living the reality of uh, living in a, you know, 1,200 square foot, you know, property, every single space becomes kind of critical. So on the left-hand side, I would assume was originally thought to be maybe a, a, a more formal dining. They're not using it that way. You can see it's just for additional seating. And then the kitchen is on the, the left. And then uh, their living quarters is on the right. And uh, it certainly is decent. Um, and then you just notice here, guys, uh, it's a little lighter and brighter, just naturally. So this is the one that's facing kind of uh, west, but maybe a little more northwest. And I'll show you what it looks like outside. They uh, have a cute little section here to be able to sit and enjoy. And so the nice thing here is this one's a corner unit. So you end up with a little bit of uh, additional uh, views. And I mean, it's not, not exciting necessarily to look out at the roof or your neighbor, but it definitely doesn't feel closed in. So that's a, a nice feature of one of these corner units. But is it worth, you know, 320 versus uh, 265 ish? Well. You know, you you alone are able to make that call. You can see that they are replacing the sod on on their greens. Maybe even looks like they're doing some work on them. And so throughout, they just look browned out because it doesn't have any grass. They're just doing, uh, making some changes. I would assume to the maybe the layout and the greens and some of the things that they're doing. They have two 18-hole golf courses at Heritage, so you have the ability probably to play on one and off season is when they're gonna do repairs and things that they want to adjust or change. But again, good view, not as close to the lake uh, is the other one, uh, but certainly I love looking out at, a, at a, a, you know, golf course view slash water view, just beautiful, so. Um, little different but uh, definitely different is nice in this setting so you have to decide necessarily how the uh, the, the, the finances uh, play out in relationship to what you get for your money but it definitely is lighter and brighter it gives you a stunning view I would assume from this window that we're looking at is exactly where the Sun would set and so it would just be stellar if that's uh, important to you so and uh, I will tell you, the air conditioning 
in Florida. It's probably about as cheap as you get anywhere in the country, even though we have air conditioners on, you know, nine, 10 months out of the year. It definitely is not ridiculously expensive. You're on the top floor here, so you're on the fourth floor. All of these do have elevators, which is nice when you're carrying up groceries and such. Um, and But I will say, uh, they're usually pretty cost effective to run your air that nine, 10 months out of the year and uh, beautifully done. So, you know, uh, again, probably turnkey. I, I can't remember right off the top. My wife has the, the paper on that, but uh, it is turnkey. So you can kind of see what you get for that. So thank you so much. And uh, we'll have a conversation, I'm sure, this evening when you guys are able to digest these videos and see uh, what you think. And we'll have a conversation about them. So thanks so much. Have a lovely day.